Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Vincent McCorry in Washington. Now, the spread of invasive water hyacinths in, the, in and around Cameroon's port city of Douala is causing problems for residents. The hyacinth's turbine growth hampers shipping, reduces fish catches, blocks streams and invades houses. But local NGOs are working to clean the map and artists are finding new uses for the hyacinths. Mokedwin Kinseka narrates uh, this report by Anne Mirela Zongkiu from Cameroon Sports City of Douala. A group of artisans from the Samuel Dipoko Gallery in Douala, led by Henri Alain Samba, are using recycled water hyacinths to create artworks and display them at an exhibition. They are also teaching this kind of art to teenagers. We want to initiate people at young ages to know water hyacinths art. They work in collaboration with NGOs involved with the sustainable management of wetland resources who collect the plants from the water, then dry and deliver them to the artists. Every day we collect 2,000 to 2,500 cubic meters of free-floating perennial aquatic plants from around this area alone. The livelihoods of thousands of residents depend on fishing, which has been hampered by the invasive plants. It grows quickly and forms large mats on the water's surface, blocking sunlight from aquatic plants and killing pond animals by using up oxygen. The overabundance of water hyacinths has led to recurrent floods and outbreaks of malaria. The high standing water is causing multiple problems. Mosquitoes have invaded our neighborhoods and big black snakes enter our houses and attack our children. We spend a lot to buy insecticides to kill the snakes, mosquitoes and insects, but the invasive plants remain. At first we had clean water here, but today lack water to drink. Locals in Douala are lauding efforts to collect water hyacinths. The initiative Collecting water hyacinths in invasive plants and turning them into something of value has helped the people of Douala. In some cases, half or more of the plants were invasive. These artisans have taught us that a nuisance to health can be turned into a profitable activity. The objects we recover can be transformed to beautiful works of art, and we are ready to assist anyone who wants to have the knowledge. But a lot of work still lies ahead to control the water hyacinth. A plant officials say is among the world's top 100 most invasive species. For Anne Mirai Zwanke in Douala, Cameroon, Moki Edwin Kinzika for VOA News.